Hey there, what's up? Welcome to Search Tech's channel and in this video we're gonna be talking about some tips for your new GoPro Hero 9 Black. Let's go! So tip number one is gonna be how to use the new feature called Quick Capture. What this is gonna do is that whenever your camera is off and you press the shutter button, it's gonna automatically take a video as you can see that it's doing right now and then once you're done with it you just have to press the shutter button again and then the camera is going to shut off. For this feature you do need to access to the menu in order to activate it and just to get to the menu you just have to swipe down and you're going to have this little control center and if you swipe left you're going to see preferences. Once you're there, you're gonna go to general and you're gonna see right here the option named quick capture. So you just go in there and select on or off. And right here in general, we're gonna have tip number two, which is gonna be how to change the LED lights. So basically the camera is gonna turn any LED lights whenever you start recording or you turn it on. So if you wanna change that, all you're gonna have to do is scroll all the way down and down here, you're gonna see LED lights. Once you're in that menu, it's gonna give you an option to have them all on all off or if you want to shut off the front only. Next up we're going to have the voice control. Voice control option is going to be right there in preferences and this means that it's going to let you control the GoPro with your voice with several commands. In order to have it on you just have to select on and once you do that it's going to take you to this menu again where you can select if you want to wake it up in voice and when you have that feature on you can also turn your camera on by just saying GoPro turn on. And to activate this you just have to go on the same menu that you were for the voice control. And all the way at the bottom right here you're gonna have the commands that you can either write them down or learn them by memory you have all the list of things that you can do for example I'm gonna try the first one GoPro capture and it's automatically recording a video next up on preferences if you ever want to erase everything on your memory SD card you just have to go all the way to the bottom there's gonna be a menu called reset and right here you're gonna see format SD card that's gonna erase every single content that you have on your SD card and to factory reset your GoPro Hero 9 you have to go all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see factory reset here it's gonna ask you if you want to reset your settings clear your connections and remove the camera from your GoPro cloud account Next trick is going to be on the video section of the camera and basically I'm going to show you how to change all the focal lenses that you have on your GoPro. All you have to do is go to the W right here in the corner and you're going to have the different options. For example, this is wide as you can tell has a little round on the edge of the pictures. You also have linear which actually takes a little bit of the round thing on the edge of the picture as you can see right here. You have a narrow which is more like a cropped version of the picture and very close up. And then you have the linear plus horizon leveling. You're also going to have the super view which is going to be the 16 millimeter lens. By this point you probably know that your GoPro Hero 9 emits a sound every time you take a picture or that you turn it on or off. This camera gives you an option to change that by just going again to your preferences and once you're there you're going to go to general and the first option you're going to see right here it's going to say beep volume. So once you're there you can select if you want it low, medium or high. And as you probably know the GoPro also comes with a front camera right here so you can see everything that you're recording in case you're doing it on selfie mode. This camera let you customize whatever you see back in that camera so you just have to go again to your control center and select the little frame with the person right here and that's going to give you all the options you can use. You can do the actual screen and this is what you're going to look at. You're going to look at all the little details, the battery, whatever space you have left in your SD card that you're recording and the type of video that you're doing. If we go to the third option, you're going to see only the status of your camera. As you can tell, it's not even showing the video. And then last, we have the screen off which basically is going to show nothing on the screen. As you can tell, it's all blacked out. You can see anything. And if you haven't linked your phone to the camera there is an option where you can actually see all the pictures that you have taken on your GoPro by just swiping up. Here you're gonna see the video that I just filmed and if you swipe to the left you're gonna see the previous content. You can also change the view by just pressing the top icon right here. As you can tell I have all my files right here. If you press the little icon right here on the top you can as well select pictures and delete them as you go. The GoPro Hero 9 also lets you create your own 
own presets for videos or photos by just pressing right here. You're gonna see all these presets they have made. You can switch between them, but even more interesting, you can select the add button and create your own preset. You can decide if you want it for videos, for looping, or for slow motion. And after you select whatever you want, you can choose from all the settings right here then you put a name on it you can select air by epic indoor or just a custom name also if you decide to take your gopro to the beach or let's say the water or just give it to someone or give it to a kid you have an option to lock the screen by just going to your control center and pressing the lock and the only thing you have to do to unlock it is just swipe you tap and the screen is unlocked and you can also switch between all the different modes of camera pictures and time lapse by just swiping to the side or pressing the power of button only one time next up we're gonna have the new feature called hindsight this feature basically allows you to leave your camera on but not actually recording without missing the action if it suddenly happens in front of you so basically let's say that you are waiting for something to happen but you don't want to keep recording with this option you're going to be able to record 15 seconds or 30 seconds prior and it's gonna buffer the video until you actually decide to record let me show you an example right now for example you can see a little counter right there I'm gonna move my hand right here as you can tell and now I'm gonna start recording. As you can tell, the seconds they add up but I just literally press record. So when you go and watch your video, you're gonna see the seconds that they were not filmed prior to the video. Right there, I'm gonna move my hand right here as you can tell and now I'm gonna stop the recording. And the way to activate it, you just have to go to whatever preset you're on, press edit on the sides, and once you're there, you're gonna see the option that's gonna say hindsight. So you just click on it, and you select if you want it to be 15 seconds or 30 seconds. And now, last but not least, we're gonna have the option scheduled capture on the same menu basically what this is going to do you can have your camera off but at whatever time you set it up is going to turn on and start recording let's say that you want to record the sunset or the sunrise but you're not at home and you want to leave the camera set in order to save the battery and not leave it on for the whole day you just can schedule capture and that way your camera is going to start recording whenever you want it to and let's try it now so right now it's 550 i'm just going to set it up for 551 and i'm going to turn it off and now now all we have to do is wait until 551 and our camera is going to turn on and start recording. As you can tell, I didn't touch anything or anything, I didn't touch anything and it's already on. And it's going to start recording in one second. So that was it on the best beginner's tips for the new GoPro Hero 9 Black. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Share it with your friends. And if you want to see more content like this, just stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next video.